Unraveling the Meaning of Feeling Off, an Easy Guide. Hello, everyone, welcome to our channel, where we make learning English easy and fun. Today, we're diving into a common English phrase, feeling off. This phrase might sound simple, but it's packed with meaning and is widely used in everyday conversations. So, let's explore what it means and how you can use it effectively in your English communication. Feeling off is an idiomatic expression. It generally means feeling not quite right or out of sorts. This feeling can be physical, emotional, or even mental. Imagine one of those days when you're not sick, but you're also not feeling 100%. That's what feeling off usually refers to. Remember, it's a subjective feeling. What feels off for one person might not be the same for another. It's about a personal sense of well-being that is, in some way, disturbed. To help you understand better, let's look at some examples. 1. Physical context. I didn't go to work today because I was feeling off. I think I might be coming down with a cold. Here, feeling off is used to describe a mild physical unwellness. 2. Emotional context. I've been feeling off lately. Just a bit down and not my usual self. In this case, Feeling off indicates a slight emotional disturbance. 3. Work or performance context. I don't know what's wrong, but my work has been feeling off this week. This implies a sense that something isn't going as well as it usually does, perhaps in terms of productivity or quality. Using feeling off correctly can help you convey a subtle sense of discomfort or unease. It's useful because it's not as strong as saying, I'm sick, or, I'm unhappy. It indicates a temporary and not severe state. Here are a few tips. Use it to express a mild, non-specific sense of discomfort. It's often used to explain a slight change in behavior or ability. It can be a way to signal the need for understanding or space from others. Feeling off is a nuanced phrase that can add depth to your English conversations. It helps convey a sense of mild discomfort without overstatement. We hope this video has helped you understand and use feeling off more confidently in your daily English. Keep practicing, and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful English language tips. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.